Ring has been a growing name in home security recently. Their emphasis on easy to install and use devices like their video doorbells has made them a popular choice for those looking to keep a closer watch on their property. To work separately or hand in hand with those doorbells, Ring recently came out with a full line of smart lighting products. Ranging from floodlights to path lights, Ring has a complete line to light up those dark corners of your yard. Let's check them out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. A main focus of Ring was to make this lighting system as easy to set up as possible. If you want to group lights and receive notifications when something is triggered, the bridge is required. This acts as the hub that all of the lights connect to and communicate through. You can command some lights to turn on when others are triggered and even connect to a ring doorbell or camera to start recording when motion is triggered. More on that in a bit. Now I didn't get the entire line to try out, but I did get a nice selection of smart lighting from Ring. Setting everything up was very easy. First was the bridge. Just download the Ring app, make an account, plug in the bridge, and connect to it to get on your Wi-Fi. For optimal coverage, make sure that the bridge is positioned in a central location for your lighting. Everything will need to be within signal range of the bridge. The first light that I set up was a spot. At $40 for a single light, the spot is very simple to get set up and going. Just be sure to also pick up the batteries as those are not included. Ring has made setting up these new devices very simple with a QR code located on each piece. When you want to get the new device paired to your system, just locate the QR code and scan it with the app. The app will then recognize it and calibrate it. Mounting the light itself is pretty straightforward. I did pre-drill the holes and then use the included driver to tighten the screws. Then just attach the base and the spotlight and adjust to your area and tighten down. The next light I got set up was the battery floodlight. They do have a wired version, but the battery is just much more convenient. And getting this set up was just as simple as the spot. It's quite a bit larger than this spot since it has two adjustable lights and the adjustable motion sensor, but overall it operates very similarly. Insert the batteries into the light, go to add device in the app, and scan the QR code found on the floodlight. The app will download the latest firmware and calibrate the light. Mounting is similar to the spot as well. Get the base mounted with the included hardware, and then adjust the lights and sensor as needed. Since the smart lighting also communicates with a Ring video doorbell, I installed the video doorbell too. The nice thing about the video doorbell too, as opposed to say the Eufy video doorbell we installed a little while ago, is that it can run on battery or be connected to an existing doorbell wiring system to keep the battery boosted. It works well in all situations. I replaced my old doorbell and used the wire so hopefully I won't have to recharge the batteries very often, if ever. Once everything is installed, controlling it all in the Ring app is just as straightforward as installation. On all of the lights, there is a motion sensor level control. You can adjust how sensitive each one is to motion and try to dial in how often it is triggered. I ended up putting both the spot and the floodlight on the lowest setting to avoid frequent triggers. You can also dial in the brightness of the light to fit it to your property or extend battery life. Then, the cool thing about having the bridge and multiple lights is if you want to make groups that talk to each other when one device is triggered, it's as simple as linking the devices in the app. Once accepting the warning that it will drain batteries faster, you can designate a time period that the lights can trigger other lights for motion. With this link, you can have motion in your backyard trigger all of your outdoor lights to turn on, if you'd like. Having a group of path lights or step lights all turn on together when motion is detected is a nice way to illuminate a path or staircase. Overall, just like the video doorbells, Ring has made a very easy way to get lighting installed around your house. Because most of it is battery powered and connected through the bridge, you don't need to worry about running wires to everything. The Ring app lets you easily customize and set up groups to suit your property. So what do you think of the smart lighting from Ring? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.